In this video, I am going to talk about uh, what is known as the central limit theorem. So central limit theorem is one of the fundamental theorem in, in whole of mathematics and in particular statistics and, and in probability, which is very simple. It you know dates back to uh, a century ago, many centuries ago in fact, uh, and this theorem is still very much useful in the real world. So we'll take an example, the actual uh, relevance of this particular theorem by doing it empirically and we'll take uh, help of R for that. Let's take an example first. So here X is a random variable, okay, and it takes values uh, from 1 to 5, okay. Uh, so here is we have the probability and, you know, here it is X, all right. So it, it takes value of 1 with some probability, but value of 2 and 3 with zero probability, 4 and 5 with again in some probability. It's a you know pretty random distribution. It's a descriptive distribution, probability distribution, and it's something totally different from a normal distribution. Okay. All right. Now we pick four numbers out of these five numbers. Okay. Now remember that x cannot take value of 2 and 3 because the probability is zero for both of them right so we'll take four out of this you know five numbers and you know first in the first trial we found out one one four five it cannot take two and three so it has to be either from one four and five second times we did the trial we we got one four uh, four and then five and then we third time we did and we got uh, one 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 four so we can repeat that for you know n number of times, many number of times, but you know we just did it for four times. Okay, the last time it is one four double five. Okay, and you then take the average of that, average of each trial. The first time x one, uh, the average is two point eight. You just you know add them up and take the average. Okay, it's just you know uh, four five nine and eleven eleven by by 4 which is you know close to 2.8 similarly you do that for x2 x3 and x4 and and you got the average to be 2.8 3.5 1.9 3.8 and, and, and so on now the central limit theorem says that no matter what the distribution of the random variable is if you if you actually uh, you know plot the distribution of its average over a large number of times then it will tend to be normal if x is a random variable with any distribution it doesn't matter what its distribution is its average um, will be normally distributed when you you know keep you know experimenting um, n number of times you keep getting the trial for n number of times where n tends to infinity the distribution will tend to normal okay this has a lot of significance in the real world it deals with stock price whether it's a stock return whether it's you know uh, the um, opinion of people uh, regarding some election you always talk about the average of certain event okay and that will tend to um, you know behave like a normally distributed random variable Okay, so, so the, the takeaway point here is that the average of any random variable, irrespective of its distribution, will look like a normally distributed random variable. Okay, and we'll see that. We'll take an example just to see if this is correct. Okay, so I'm going to take this example. I'm going to take this in R. So uh, first, I, I'll, what I'll do is that I'll, I'll simulate a number of data points um, from uniform distributions. Okay. So uniform distributions is where you know you get the data points like this. You know you won't get a bell curve. You'll rather get uh, you know data points like this, very uniform. So um, they will be mostly parallel to this x-axis, and we'll see that also. Okay. So how do we get that? We you know we use run if function, and that is going to you know provide us with uh, uniformly distributed uh, values. Okay. And we save that in y okay so we run that and let's plot the histogram um, and you will see that it's not uh, normally distributed uh, it is it will be distributed um, what is known as uniform distributed okay so this is uniform distribution of the random variable y and we have taken thousands of them okay and clearly it's is not normally distributed it doesn't look like that right but if you take the average of this random variable y over a large 
you know number of uh, trials and then we distribute it it will look like a normally distributed curve okay and let's see that so how we will do is that uh, this you know so every time we get a thousand uh, simulated values from a given distribution we call that a single trial and we'll continue that you know trial for a large number of times okay and every each time we'll calculate the average okay because the point here is that the average will um, you know be distributed normally so we'll take a mean of that if you take the mean of that you know you get something um, okay okay we have made a mistake uh, Okay, we just miss this word. Okay, it's three point seven out. I can see. Okay, and we continued that for many number of times. We'll do that for hundred times. Okay, and we'll, of course we'll increase that numbers and we'll see what the changes that we, we see. So um, we write a for loop. Okay, and the for loop starts with one to hundred, and then we'll save it in a, in, in a variable. So we, we calculate the mean of each trial and we'll just save it. Okay. And then we'll create uh, this particular vector where we are going to save these 100 averages and then we'll plot these averages okay so that's the idea so let's first you know get the averages okay and you can see it in fact so you just you know um, if I just show you what is there in sample so I'm going to save all the averages in sample okay this particular vector you can see so these are basically the average values okay uh, and this is what we have got by you know continuing this for 100 times uh, let's see how the histogram looks like uh, okay so this is how the histogram looks like okay this is 100 different averages it looks very close to normally distributed curve but it's not quite uh, normally distributed it's closer to that okay it's because we have done it for 100 times okay but if you do it for 1000 times you know it will be even closer to that okay so we'll just for thousand times and name it again um, okay it's slightly better right well, let's do it for 10,000 times it will take some time but I'm sure uh, it will look closer to a perfect normal distribution yes now you can see so this is you know the average we have just taken the average for 10,000 trials and look the, how the average looks like it's normally distributed right but the actual random variable y that we started out with it, it was distributed uniformly it was having uniform distribution it's taken from uniform distribution but the average when when you plot it over a large number of trials then it it's distributed normally so that basically is what are known as central limit theorem which is a very fundamental theorem in, in the whole of mathematics and is very useful uh, in, in in most real world problems just to understanding you know the behavior of um, uh, the behavior of any event that that you know happens we actually see the average of uh, events happening which is just a sum of or rather uh, which is which is a summary of many such smaller smaller events we, that may not have a normal distribution normal distribution but the average event or quantity does um, have uh, normal distributions thank you